Hey, this is Left Technical, and I'm going to talk about bit flags and enumerations. Now, at the top here, I've got a public enumerator at the namespace level. It's called Shader, and it's going to hold information about the texture types within the shader. So, up top here, I've got diffuse only is equal to zero. So, that's going to reset all of my bits to zero. That's what I'm going to use to reset it. And then the bump maps here is the first bit, 1. I'm using um, the default type integers to set my bits, so it's going to look kind of weird. You're just going to double a number as you go up. So uh, the bump map is the first bit. 1 is equal to 0, 0, 1 in binary. And the spec maps is the second bit. It equates to 0, 1, 0. The refraction map is the third bit, and it equates to 1, 0, 0. Now, you don't have to have... That's excessive use of zeros because uh, you don't need the leftmost zeros, I believe. Uh, I'm just doing that for a purpose to represent all three bits. So, um, down here I created a shader object um, called my shader, and I set the second and the third bit with the bitwise operator OR. If you're not familiar with bitwise um, or bit operations then you should probably take a look at that I can't really explain it it's something you have to read in a document okay so down here I printed the contents of my shader to string well not really the contents but the, the bit set and um, it would only print the numbers you'd think it would only print the numbers but I put I specified that this shader is a flag so when I convert it to string it will be printed as a um, like the contents of the enumeration so you've got the spec maps and the refraction map set and I can also reset all of these to zero so it will be diffuse only so let's do that right now Right up top, you'll see that it's diffuse only, which is zero.